All right, everybody. This is Matt again. I wanted to talk to you about my 225 Chicago Electric stick welder. Uh, it's a pretty powerful stick welder. It's AC only. Um, it, you know, it goes plenty of range. It's got the little thing over here. Uh, I like the welder. Uh, I think the leads need to be redone or replaced. It, it, it does really well on the higher on the higher amps. On the lower amps, not so much. I mean, they don't feel like cheap leads at all, but at the same time, they could be. And uh, I don't know. I'd like to try it. Get a little bit bigger, a little bit not bigger, but a little bit more quality leads on it maybe uh, and that's definitely doable uh, it's still got the original you know thing that came on at the ground clamp but it does have the copper strap but not the uh, copper teeth and uh, the ground clamp is shorter than the work clamp you can see here's the, the work clamp or the, there's the work and here's the electrode it's actually a little longer but the electrode it doesn't seem to be too cheap it seems to be all right and uh but it's got a good strong good strong thing on it there good spring um it welds good it does it welds good uh, I only, so far I've only used, uh, I've used some, uh, 6011s, uh, 1 8 inch, and I've used some, uh, 6013 1 8 inch, and, uh, it's done, it's done me good, but it's, you gotta, seems like you gotta crank it up a little bit more than I would like, you know, you watch everybody else's video and they're like at 90 amps. You ain't doing squat at 90 amps with a 1 8 inch rod, which I wouldn't expect it to, but I wanted to give a little short review. Here, I'll turn it on so you can hear it. Uh, got a powerful fan, and uh, I just got sitting on foam right now. It won't fit in the, I got too much crap in my cart. Um, once again, it's got a duty cycle, but I've not had to worry about it, uh, and I weld with it all the time. I've been putting together these uh, little one-inch plates here, and uh, been messing with those. They're pretty, pretty thick, pretty heavy, and like here's some of the beads I've been practicing with it, and this little tower thing. I don't know. It's been some practice, but uh, I really like it. Uh, like I said, I'm thinking about upgrading the, the cable ends and the cables and all that, but as far as it doing what it's supposed to do, it does it. It works. And, uh, I mean, like, and you don't have to pick all day trying to get an arc going. It goes. It's it's ready to go right now. Um, you know, you can't you can't stop it. It's It's got a ton of power. Uh, it'll burn through about anything you want to burn through. And it does really good, too. Um, pretty satisfied with it. Like I said, I'd like to replace those cables and uh, or the leads, however people want to call it. And uh, you now I've been laying down some reasonable welds. Not not a not a professional welder by any means. I'm learning like anybody else. But why buy a high dollar when you can start like this? And uh, so far, I've had no troubles. All right, appreciate it. Uh, this is the. Uh, Chicago Electric 225 amp arc welder bought at Harbor Freight. I think I got it for 200 bucks or less. This is like 200 bucks or less. All right, thanks.